Hi guys, so I'm going into day one of eating healthy for 2024. Now, I lose weight very quickly and one of those things I want to do about this time around is show you every single day as I step on the scales, especially starting off day one, what that looks like for me. I'm going to be going through what I'm eating, my walking routine, my exercise routine and detailing that all for you. I'll document my every single day daily weigh-in so you guys can see that. So starting off with this morning, I'm going to step on the scale. You can see where I start off now and obviously I'm going to give you a bigger update on the final day as well. So that was so interesting to see where I've started this year off and it's obviously not the best but I think with the momentum I'm going to show you guys hopefully we'll make really good progress in the next seven days. about to do day two weigh in as you saw yesterday i got so hungry um during the day it's just as your body's adjusting i was hungry but i knew i was eating the right amount of food i just have to allow that adjustment period to kick in and it gets to the evening and i'm like i could eat everything but let's get into my first second daily weigh in and see what the results are so since yesterday i have lost three and a half pounds which sounds so so insane but it's a lot of water weight as well but it's really exciting because i feel like my blood body will feel lighter as everything is flushing out so let's see what we are by the end of seven days but to have that already in day two incredible so it's day three weigh-in and i'm really excited to see the result i've been highlighting that i've been doing walks the goal is to do ten thousand steps a day so i'm going to document that and take you guys through that it is not easy especially when i've been feeling so much heavier it's like i'm carrying extra weight um and my food i've been staying consistent with my food it's not again easy because my body is still adjusting to want to do that but i'm really really pushing myself i'll show you a few clips or i'll write a little or i'll write a little menu to show you guys the type of things i have been eating um and i'll probably go into more detail about that um in this video or as i go through the little bits of these um weekly trackers after day three check-in that's another two and a half pounds dropped i think again so much water weight because especially when i'm eating unhealthy i don't realize how much liquid i'm consuming because again because of the salt intake my body just gets so dehydrated and that's one of the symptoms i always know i get with that so i know that's a lot of that flushing but again a lot of positive result regardless so i'll see you guys tomorrow for day four for check-in. Hey daily student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good. And if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly and welcome to my 2024 weight loss journey. Now I have documented the last seven days to show you guys my every single week by week progress check as I go into this journey of weight loss for 2024. By summer, by Christmas this year, being in my best body and taking you guys along the entire journey because you guys love to see the daily, weekly check weight check-ins on the scales, what I'm exercising, what I'm eating. I'm going to be documenting every single part of that and i'm so excited to unpack this how it's been what i've eaten how i've exercised and everything in between now it's never easy for me starting a weight loss journey although this week has been insanely successful in terms of weight loss i have really pushed because those first few initial days or first initial few weeks when i'm breaking into a new food routine or eating routine it is so hard because your my body easily wants to go back to eating how it was before because all the high sugars from previous bad eating is still in my system my insulin levels are still increased my body hasn't fully adjusted yet to this new and exciting challenge that i'm embarking on and i can get so hungry for me it kicks in like 7 p.m in the day and what's really really helped me with that this week is i really put down to the amazing results i mean day one i lost three and a half pounds between the first day and the second day and although i always emphasize a lot that can be water weight as well the consistency in which i'm seeing it continue to drop down is so exciting and i want you guys to see exactly what i'm doing so you can just be part of the journey and um i didn't do fasting this time i usually do a lot of fasting but i also find it tricky where it can be too hard too soon to do my fasting so what i've been doing is adding on the protein oh my goodness i've heard this craze and trend of people doing ozempic and so many different weight loss suppressants when i tell you that protein for me is like the natural ozempic like protein when i pack protein on i instantaneously instantaneously feel so un not hungry at all like it's a godsend for me because i didn't i like to do things as natural as i can protein i kid you not i have 40 grams of protein before 1 p.m 
just to put it into perspective. And when I tell you I have the biggest craving and appetite, I am not hungry at all for almost six hours after that, seven hours after that, sometimes. I know on day three and four, when it got to dinner, I was like, I really want to eat dinner. Like, I'm not sure I even have any hunger to even be eating dinner right now. Protein has literally changed my whole trajectory of positivity because obviously it's week one. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a big journey. How am I going to do this? And already protein is changing my positivity and motivation. I'm so motivated. When there's one thing doing a journey and you're hungry and you know you have to push through, that's fine. But when I genuinely feel non-hungry, I feel so in control and so excited to step on the scales the next day to see my results. My appetite because of protein, pack it on like you've never packed on protein before. And that is what has been transformed transforming my eating alone. When it comes to the exercise, now this is one of my most favorite things to talk about, which is the exercise and what I've been doing. And I have been walking every single day. When I tell you it's so hard to factor in going back to walking because I'm doing it at a lot heavier stage. I'm doing it with a lot more weight on my back. It's not, I'm not as light and nimble as I would be at the begin, uh, at the end of weight loss journey. And I've been walking and trying to build up to 10,000 steps every day. Day one, I did 5,000 steps. Day two, I did 8,000 steps. Day three, I did 6,000 steps. Day four, I did another 5,000 steps so I'm building up to 10,000 steps and maybe I will show like a segment of my uh, tracking steps so they can see it when I do my weekly so I'll do a video like this every day where I'll show you the scales and show you what I've weighed in at each in every single day or at the end of each week I could probably show my daily running stats here as well um but otherwise it's it's not easy but it's so with running or walking you reach a barrier where your body just wants to continue and continue going I feel like the first five ten minutes can be hard and I could crave it so much after the first five ten minutes i have to keep going i have to keep pushing i have to change the trajectory and make my life exactly what i want it to be with my motivation and my push and my drive and i know that when i'm on that walk it's not about i block out all the noise of the rest of the world and i just go and i just walk and i just walk and i'm like i need this i want this i need to walk exercise is one of the most beautiful things that probably even exists because your body gets to a stage where you really start to crave it and this is coming from me why i have apprehension when it's too cold outside and I don't want to get into my tight gym leggings I'm like oh the last thing I want to do is be wearing leggings right now and wearing a gym outfit walk and I walk and I walk and that exercise alone has transformed it's one of the most easiest forms for me to get my calorie burning in and look at the results that I've had each and every single day it's enough and just enough to get myself to exactly where I need to be alongside this of course I do the home workouts as well I like to save money and not do the whole gym membership thing although you can I personally like to do a home workout I get my abs going my belly going and then every other day I switch over to leg I want to always make sure I'm switching over different types of workouts because that's why I can then get optimum fat burning processes if I do the same exact workout on the same exact body area every single day my body doesn't burn as much because my body gets used to the workout and then it's not burning as much so I always try to emphasize changing up my workout every single day and I've seen insane results by doing that this week is just the beginning because next I'm going to document it as well so you guys can see and I can put in clips of the workouts that I'm actually doing as well um but that's exactly what I've done for week one I'm so excited to show you guys the results for week two maintaining it each week adding on losing and losing and losing each week and showing you the ups and downs of that as well if you would like to see this don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and I hope you guys are having an amazing time on your journeys as well tell me all about your journeys in the comments and I love to hear about it I love to see what you guys are doing you guys send me so many updates as it is and to do this together is going to be the most exciting and biggest year for both of us ever but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys